What's up guys, this is Chris here from Honest Outlaw, and today we're gonna to be doing a pretty interesting firearm. Today I've got for you the Arsenal Strike One. This is actually the original. Now a lot of guns have been built off this. This came into the US I think around 2015, and I kinda of wanted one ever since. One of the first times I ever saw this was used by the uh, Russian Special Forces in a Larry Vickers video that's very popular. If you've ever seen that, it's insane, and if you haven't, go watch it. This got famous sort of because of the use in the Russian Special Forces, at least that I'm aware of, video games, stuff like that. But what it's really interesting to me for is the Bergman system that it actually uses. So this is a semi-automatic uh, striker fired pistol, I think. It has one of the lowest bore axes on earth. As you can see there, you can get your hand very, very high. And it's got some kind of weird ergonomics because of that. Comes in the FDE, I think it's a four and a half inch barrel. We have a fiber front, blacked out rear, and then you have some good serrations with a rail and a super weird trigger in my opinion. So we're gonna have to get used to that while we shoot it. Uh, mine came with one 17 round magazine. However, I hear others come with more. I'm not sure, uh, we'll have to see. Now, one of the things I'm a little concerned with is we did shoot one mag through this. We did have some initial issues with the Blazer Brass. So today we're gonna be using uh, Federal 115, one of my favorite ammunitions, and today we'll see if it will run this. So we'll have to see. So we'll go out there and shoot her today, but before we do, I do wanna mention my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys very much. We bought this gun with the Patreon dollars and we try to give you the most honest gun content on the internet and we thank you for supporting us because the industry doesn't always love us, so Patreon helps us out a lot. If you wanna join the Patreon squad, all you gotta do is go to the link in the description below. And also, there is a link to a local shelter in Ames, Iowa, it's the YSS. It could really use your help, so please get down there and donate to those kids. And finally, I wanna thank the sponsor of this video, the Sonoran Desert Institute. The SDI has been a sponsor sponsor of the channel for quite a while now and we really appreciate that. I love having sponsors that I like and that I support and that's all we do here on Honest Outlaw. You won't see League of Legends or any shit like that. We really like uh, Sonoran Desert Institute because you can get a great education from there. You can have a great career in the firearms industry and that's more and more needed in the world today and you can make a great life, you can have a great living, you can be very busy and you can feel fulfilled as well doing a job that's not only pretty cool and pretty fun but helps people. All right, so because it's Iowa, we have a storm randomly rolling in, if you can't see there, so hopefully it'll look beautiful and uh, noise will be a little bit worse because of the, the wind, but it is what it is. So we're gonna try to shoot this uh, at 75 yards, starting off cold. I'm not super confident because I had some accuracy issues with it the other day, but we'll give it a shot. Give it the old college try. <laughs> winner, winner. Or that, or that, I guess. I think I hit something by accident because I'm not hitting shit. So now we just moved to 50 because I wasn't hitting anything but air there. And we'll try it a little bit here. We got, got one. that one. All right, let's try another mag here. Got it. It was on the left. I think it was on the left. Oh man. Do I keep hitting the barrel? Yes. Or going over. I don't see it. Okay. why we can't hit it 50 yards because I'm shooting at seven yards here and my group is one, two, three inches low. Okay, so let's go take a look at that terrible group that I'm shooting in 30 mile an hour wind. 
So obviously these are probably me and then this is more like the group. And now my sights, air to air, dead on, right here. And I even aimed higher on the last view and we're one, two, three inches low at seven yards. So at 50, that means I'm probably shooting at his feet. Got it. I'm aiming at the top of the berm. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm just gonna try to rock my sights high like this. Got it. This is one of the most difficult full-size guns I've ever shot, ever. And that's really saying something, because I mean, I've shot a lot of weird stuff. Well, you so, got it. yeah, so imagine, imagine your sights here. I'm gonna do this thing. Imagine your sights are like this, and equal height, equal light. Well, I'm going like this, I'm somewhere in there. Because if you aim too far above your target, you can't see your target anymore. Yep. And then, like you can kind of pick a spot on the berm maybe, but that's not really realistic, because every time you need to look down or reset. So then, you just start arcing your sights higher and higher, and that's what you have to do if you don't have a dot. You know, one of the big advantages of a dot is you just click it up then, and this, you're just stuck with it. Yep. The wind is brutal, but the clouds in the storm are beautiful. Okay. All right, so let's try it. More reasonable distance of 25 yards here. What was that? <laughs> mm. This thing is a dumpster. <laughs> what in the hell? I don't know. It really is doing something weird now. Do you, do you, is it look I saw weird? Because it. it feels weird. No, I saw it. It like it feels like it's going ka chunk stuck. Boom, ka chunk yep. cook stuck. That's weird, man. What was that? A chunk stuck funk, I guess. <laughs> There's a fucking shirt for you. On this outlaw's new rap song. I was just checking it. It's, this is uh, I don't know. It's made in Italy, but it reminds me of something Russian, the way it works, that's for sure. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right. <laughs> this is so weird. It's like it's like getting stuck halfway through. It is. It really you can, you can see, see it. it. Yeah, you can see it. Oh boy. It's so slow. I'm a little concerned that this is I don't know. I don't know what I don't know what's happening. That's new to me. Takedown lever's working its way out too. Well what is happening? It feels like it's like riding on something right there. Beats me. Hopefully so, it'll work itself out. If we had a gunsmith, that could look. Yeah, from the Snoring Desert. What are you people doing? Come Sign on, up and tell me what's wrong. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Sure does rapid fire well. Real life truck talk with the outlaws. What do you mean? Well, you gotta have a truck if you live Sometimes. in Iowa. Sometimes. Sometimes you gotta go places where there's no roads. And sometimes you gotta use the truck as a windbreak. That's what we were doing, yeah. Behind the scenes here. It's true. Sometimes you have to drive, wear an ear pro for some reason because it's too lazy to take them off. Yep. Okay. All right, so at 50, we were sailing them. Uh, like We had to aim three feet-ish above the target. So I'm at almost 100. We're at 90 here right now. So I'm assuming I'm gonna be way over the, I'm gonna have to aim way over the berm. So I'm gonna continue to do that uh, angled uh, aiming system and then try and just try to sail a few in, you know, like a mortar.
We yeah. got one, but it malfunctioned. Ugh. Bummer. So when I... It just looks so cool. I wish it... It does look super cool. And it's kind of got that, you know, that Larry Vickers video vibe to it. And I like that a lot. That's why I wanted to buy it. Because it's got the low uh, recoil system. And it's, it's just a very unique handgun. And it, this, this led to the Archon Type B. And I like that gun. But I have to admit, if, you, if you're looking for one of these to buy... I mean, spoiler alert, but get the, get the arc on. Woo. Not bad. Every one of these is hitting my truck, so I'm gonna move forward a little bit. <laughs> it also hit me. Oh, did it? Oh, well, yeah. You can replace. No, I'm kidding. Oh, funny. <laughs> funny. Hey, we hit last one at 75. So I just got, what, are they, like 140 rounds through it? Let's go talk about it. Boom. All right, so I think we're just about to miss it. I think we're gonna get inside and get this video done right before the storm. It's getting crazy out here. But I wanted to give you my first impressions. Now, we're going to do a full video of this. Probably, it kind of depends on what you guys want. If you guys want a full review, let me know in the comment section. Just write 1,000 round review or something like that. And if enough people say it, we'll do it. Um, it was an interesting gun. It wasn't as fun to shoot as I anticipated. The trigger's a little rough, but it takes some getting used to. Uh, the sighting setup is rough. I mean, I would prefer a red dot, honestly, because not only the sights, they kind of sit on my eye a little weird, but we ended up having to do this thing with it so much that I've, I've never done that more on any other gun than I did this one. Um, this little spot here kind of hits me in the wrist, or kind of hits me in the web of the hand. You can see it, look at my hand, from that uh, little notch. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can see it right there and there. Um, not the most comfortable gun to shoot. If you're looking to get this because it has uh, a low bore axis and you think it's going to have really low recoil, that does not translate as it turns out. Uh, if you're looking for a low recoil, get a Shadow 2 or something. Uh, they're actually pretty on par at the same price as well. I think I got this for like 900 bucks and you get a Shadow 2 for around 1100 so there's that. But you can get an M&P or something and it'll probably perform better than this. But we'll have the cool factor. No, not really. If you're looking for something new and interesting, it is a fun gun. Uh, however, we did have a whole bunch of reliability issues. We had some yesterday when we were shooting it, and today we also had it. And that's two different ammunition types. Two ammunition types we use for a lot of our guns that have no issues. Um, uh, what's try Fioki, that's the third ammo I generally do for 1,000 round reviews. But we did use American Eagle 115, we used Blazer Brass 115, and those are pretty excellent generally for cheaper ammos. Both of them had problems. They had weird problems too. Like, I don't know what was going on with the, the reciprocation of the slide. I'll have to look at the footage. I can't see the footage like you guys can until we, until we edit this and post. But uh, it was weird. It would, it would go like halfway back, kind of get stuck and fumble forward. And it felt like there was, like for the last three mags or so, it felt like there was twice the recoil than the first couple of mags because it kept like ka-chunking back and forth. Now, I'm not sure what that is. I'm not sure if that's due to that Bergman system or maybe this was like the first iteration of this gun because I also shot the Archon Type B which is the newer version of this gun made by a different company, not by Arsenal, but by uh, Archon, obviously. And uh, it was significantly better in every way. I'll say that. It takes like this and then it upgrades it to where it needs to be. This is kind of a cool gun to own, but for self-defense, I would not recommend this. I would not recommend this because of the reliability issues, uh, the issues we had with accuracy, and just generally that's sort of what a gun should do. It should be reliable and it should be accurate, and this doesn't really do either one of those. So, <laughs> so uh, you'd be better off with anything. I mean, if I had a self-defense scenario with four people breaking my house, I could choose this or the M&P shield, I'm going with the shield. So that gives you an idea of the performance level you're gonna get with the Arsenal Strike 1. That being said, it's cool, it's in some video games, and if you're interested in that and that's enough for you, get after it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If you're interested in a thousand round review, again, leave it below and I'll do it if you guys really want it. Please stop by your local homeless shelters and remember to recycle. I'll check you later.